That is weird. Yeah. So does that mean that the tree is growing right over the body? Hey guys, we are making a detour. We were on our way back from the Spring Hill Cemetery. You guys can see that video. That was the last video that we uploaded right before this one. Um, and we decided to make a pit stop on our way back uh, to this cemetery. This is called the Brooksville Historic Cemetery. Now we've heard about it. Uh, we've seen it on our map as we were driving, things like that. But I don't, I'm not really aware of what's historic about it because I didn't really have the time to look anything up. Um, but we did come here. It looks extremely old. Like over here, for example, guys, there's some really old plots, like really old plots. And uh, it's all just kind of discombobulated over here. I don't even know. It's hard to see if they're even marked. 1900? So again, guys, I'm not sure what the story is on this place, what, you know, what is historic about it. I'm sure that there's a lot, um, but again, we just literally stumbled across this place on our way back from the Spring Hill Cemetery, and we figure we're all the way up here, two and a half hours away from home. Why the hell not stop and check this place out? Because look how old this looks. Is this the back side? Wow, you can't even see what it says. At all. I can't make out what that says. I smell barbecue, and it's not often that you're in a cemetery and you smell barbecue. What's this over here? 1925. Hmm. Sounds like somebody's having a party over there. I hear a lot of music. Look at these. They look super old. Look at this tree trunk right in front of this headstone. Look at that, guys. That is weird. Yeah. So does that mean that the tree is growing right over the body? Can you see the date on that? Does that say 1911? I think it says yeah. 1887 to 1911, yeah. if I'm reading it correctly. That's, uh, look at this one is, um, looks like it says 1910. Starting to grow uh, like some fungus, some weird fungus. Oh, look over here. Ruth A. De Hart. 1846 to 1931. Oh, look at this. Look at here's another tombstone, babe, with a tree trunk in front of it. Look at, somebody cut the tree down years ago that you, you can see, but it's right in front of the tombstone which is really odd to me but you can't even see what it says what's on that mm -hmm. 1909 1898 to 1909 1897 what does that say something like that that one's really old look at this one April 2nd, 1836, y'all. Look at that little tiny. I wonder if it's a baby or something like with this person. Oh, wow. 
Maybe they're just markers. But there's like letters, like carvings on them. You just can't see what they said. Oh yeah, look, there's a whole bunch over here, guys. Look at these little tiny like baby headstones that are near the larger ones. That's really, that's different. I don't, I don't believe I've ever seen anything like that before. These guys. What does this say? 1880. Wow. Insane. So, you know, I don't really know if, if this cemetery is haunted per se. I personally believe that every cemetery is haunted. I mean, logically it would have to be, right? Because, or they would have to be, I should say, because, I mean, hundreds and if not thousands of dead people, you know, all in one area. You know, people say, if, oh, wow. A lot of times people say, you know, if I'm going to haunt something, it's definitely not going to be a cemetery. I'm going to go to a place or a landmark, you know, but I don't know. I believe all cemeteries are haunted, but this specific cemetery, I'm not sure if it has any kind of history of anybody seeing anything or hearing anything or, you know, anything. So honestly, if anybody that's watching this has any kind of experience or knowledge on the Brooksville Cemetery here in Florida, please let us know in the comments below and tell us what you know. Tell us about your experience if you've had any. We would love to know because guys, things like that are what make us want to come back to these places, especially at night when we can get in and when we're allowed in and we don't get caught and you know there is a party going on over there oh, I know. do you guys hear that it's not in the cemetery it's beyond like over there somewhere but yeah people are getting it over there what's this general Ro general wilson i wonder i wonder look at that it's just like a random huh Oh, look at these must be markers. You gotta be. They're all over I'm wondering, like, yeah, there's another one. Like, does that mean that his casket or his body is within these three markers? Because there's one right here, guys. There's one right here. And there's one right there. And they all form like a triangle. So I'm wondering if that's these are from Geneva, New York. where he was laid to rest. Really? Geneva, New York, that is a half an hour from where we're originally from. As a matter of fact, I went to school close to Geneva, New York. Because I went to school in Red Creek, New York, so... Wow, that's pretty interesting. Yeah, we got, there's a lot of trees here that have been cut down due to, I'm guessing, destruction of these grave sites because they're just like up against them or right in front of them oh wow that's interesting it's pretty cool looking oh yeah they're definitely getting it back there guys it is saturday so why not this tree is gonna break look at this oh yeah and another thing too is this there's a lot of people here like whenever we go to a cemetery there's usually never anybody there or maybe like one or two people we pulled up in here guys and there was whoa look at all the black crows all over there flying that's kind of unsettling in a cemetery <laughs> um but yeah we we drove up in here and there was quite a few people it was actually kind of sad because we've seen a few people that were in mourning and they had tears in their eyes it was really sad look at that crow on that headstone that is creepy guys yeah that crow on that tombstone is creeping me out oh it just blew away Whew. 1980 oh that's i kept seeing headstones today especially up at um spring hill where a lot of deaths happened in 1980 and it no, kind, this one isn't the kind of creeped me out a little bit because it's the year I was born. Oh, look at, there's like trees. It's like parts of a plant or tree growing out of that. You know, I don't get any weird vibes at this cemetery. No, None at all. Like no heavy feeling, no creepy feeling. 
I feel like the cemetery is definitely at peace. Look at this. C. On. C, B, C. I mean, B, C. What does that mean? C. That's weird. That is like, I don't understand what those, what those mean. Like, are they markers for a future burial plot maybe? But I'm just trying to watch where I walk because <laughs> I almost stepped on that one. It was hidden and it was really tiny. Yeah, look. See. These must be markers. Yeah, there's another C up there. Yeah, these, these must be markers, guys. Oh my God, now that scared me. I'd seen it out of the corner of my eye, but it's just a bunch of, a bunch of those birds. It did, I just, I seen it out of the corner of my eye as I was walking up and I was like, what in the hell is that? <laughs> Again, guys, this is the Brooksville Cemetery in Brooksville, Florida. I feel peace here. I don't feel anything strange here. I don't feel like I would need to uh, come back here at night. I don't know. I don't get that feeling. You know how you just get that feeling and you're like, okay, we need to come back here because something is definitely here. But I don't get that here, guys. Not at all. And that's pretty cool because that means that everybody here is at peace. And I actually like to see that. That's really, well, I was going to say for 1943, that headstone is really nice and it's in really good shape. But I'm going to guess that it was put in when the 2004 when this person passed away in 2004, this was probably put in with it. Oh, where's John? Did I lose John? I think I lost John, guys. He wandered off somewhere. Oh, no, no, what's this? Oh, there's a portrait on this one. Bobby Dale Winter. Oh, wow. Oh, there's John over there. Let's go catch up. Sorry, I did not mean to step on anybody. I'm sorry. I really, really try not to. Sometimes it's really hard. It's a gem. <laughs> the lettering is, is cool. It's like a, um... oh, what's the name of this font? I The name of it is on the tip of my tongue. It's pretty cool, like a little different. Yeah, yeah. I make a lot of templates and advertisements and all kinds of things online, guys. It's kind of what I do. So I memorize the name of certain fonts, but that one I don't, I've seen it so many times, but I can't really remember the name. Look at him over there waiting for me because he's scared to walk by himself. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, guys. Oh, look at US Air Force here. And we got the US Army up here. That's pretty cool. Thank you guys for your service. Services. Elizabeth Jane Appel Swanson. Her nickname was Bunny. <laughs> That's cool. McIntyre is John's father's last name. It's not John's last name though. It's his father's last name. But yeah, that's kind of creepy to see. I'm not going to lie, honestly. I don't want that day to come anytime soon. <laughs> That's creepy. Oh my gosh, the ground. Feel how soft it is? Oh yeah. What up with that? Oh my God, I hate it guys, I hate it. I hate it, I hate it. I hate it so much, it sends my anxiety flying when I step on the ground at a cemetery and it's soft, just like right there. <laughs> Whew. Oh, this one, this guy was a judge. Judge Monroe Treeman, 1920 to 2004. Off to Shangri-La. Huh. Jennifer, oh, Jenny Freeman, but it's spelled different. Or Treeman, Treeman. Yeah, it's J-E-N-N-I-E. -E. Yeah, the ground guys is soft and I don't, I don't like that. I hate soft ground. I know I've said it a million times, but it's sending my anxiety into full force. But this is, this is an absolutely beautiful cemetery. Again, no, ba no 
bad vibes, no spooky vibes, no sadness, nothing like that here, nothing. Um, it's peaceful here, guys, very peaceful from what I know. Now, I mean, that could just be the way it feels during the day. It could be different at night. I don't know if this place, you know, comes alive at night. Sometimes places do that. Um, what's that? Oh, wow. That is really neat. Sally must have been a sower. Sally must have been a sower. Yeah. That is cool, though. It's like an antique. Like, it looks real, like a real antique sewing machine. That's neat. I don't even know. Okay, that's the first weird noise I heard. You hear that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was weird. Ooh, I almost fell again. That's the first weird noise I heard since we've been here. It definitely could have been a bird. There's birds everywhere, guys. Yeah. I saw those big white ones down there. They were eating eating the grass or pecking at the grass. Big white giant birds. They end up in our yard sometimes, guys, and they'll like drink out of our pool and my dog goes absolutely insane. Whenever those those big tall white birds come into our yard, they like drinking out of the pool for some reason. I don't know, but my dog does not like them. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's not even that old, but it looks mega old. I mean, 1869 to 1947, that's old, but it's not like, whoa. 1933. That's the mason symbol. Oh, yeah. There's that mason symbol, guys. Now, for those of you who don't know or haven't seen our last video at, um, well, a couple of our videos, actually, cemetery videos, and at uh, Indian Spring Cemetery, which is the cemetery that we literally got chased out of, they were talking, they had, you know, a lot of the mason signs and stuff, and then we actually found um, the Grand Master of the Masons of Florida, uh, we found his headstone there, and his name was Albert Gilchrist. And again, hit that headstone is in um, Indian Spring Cemetery in Punta Gorda, Florida, which is in our neck of the woods. And uh, again, you guys can go see those videos if you want. Um, the first time we went there, we were chased out. That was during the day, literally chased out by spirits. If you guys don't believe me, again, you can go check that video out. You're going to be like, wow because it was crazy. So, um, you know, our crazy asses decided to return at night and some stuff happened, but it wasn't, you know, as we weren't chased out, I'll say that. But there was some, uh, ooh, that was soft, soft spot again. Uh, but there was, there was some really messed up things happening, like something touched the top of my head. We got a lot of voices coming through the spirit box. It's insane. So definitely go watch that. And again, you'll be able to see the burial site of Albert Gilchrist. He was the Grand Master of the Masons of Florida. So that was pretty cool. Another thing too is this cemetery is in a residential area where Spring Hill and a few others are way back in the woods. Did you want to do a, a spirit box session or? Um, you know, honestly, I'm going to say no. Because I don't feel it's needed. I don't feel anything here. I, don't, I feel peace here. I don't want to stir anything up. You know what I mean? Wow. Ooh, the sun is bright. The sun's starting to go down, as you guys can see, so. those tree trunk things I think I was just explaining because this is JWJ yeah and if you look at it it's John W Johnson so I'm thinking what people do is that they start off with one of these and then just to, once they get a, yeah one, establish the yeah plot. once they have this created then they put it in its place gotcha. and a lot of times that you see that the families probably can't afford or yeah or, yeah because we've seen some homemade ones too yeah and then all you see is that. So yeah. 
that might well could be it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's definitely a possibility. Oh, I don't want to walk over the top of them there. What? No name, no date. Wow. I'm Love probably standing on it. You probably are. You should... well, no, I'm sorry. Man. Yeah. She's just kind of off over here by herself in the bushes. There's no name, no date, just as mother at rest. Well, and rest you shall. How sad is that? There's, she's not even identified. Look at this, babe. Babe. Yeah, it looks like a, uh... mm -hmm. It looks like it's flipped over. Like that, that part was in the ground. Maybe. You know what I mean? And it just like kind of toppled, like toppled over. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what it looks like. Yeah. Little guys and, and all I can assume is that they were little people. Yeah. You can't even see. But the size of the headstone doesn't matter. <laughs> Keep telling yourself that, babe. Oh, okay. Sorry, I jumped over it and stepped on. Jackson Hancock. What does that say? Six Florida Battle, Battle CSA. GSA or CSA? CSA. Alright, I filmed another one over there. A little CSA. Oh wow. Right here, look at them. Oh, this is the grave of Charlotte Wynn Piles Crumb. One of the areas early white settlers what charlotte crum is the first known burial in the brooksville cemetery her death occurred immediately following the second seminole war in 1835 to 1842 and is symbolic of the epic collision that occurred in florida as diverse cultures struggled for control of the expanding american frontier born in 1792 near savannah georgia charlotte married uh, colonel samuel robert piles who in 1824 moved his family to what later became Alachu County, Florida. Following Pyle's 1837 death, Charlotte married Richard R. Crum, who secured this portion of land through the armed occupation while traveling nearby in September 12, 1842. Charlotte, her daughter Rebecca uh, Harn, and granddaughter Mary Catherine Harn, and escort John Francis McDowell were fired upon by a party of Seminoles who were unaware of the war's end and evidently retaliating for recent aggressive acts by white settlers eager to remove the area's native population. In the ensuing struggle, all escaped but Charlotte, who was killed and whose death received sensationalized attention. She is buried here less than one eighth a mile from her home in a grave once entombed with brick. Wow. Okay, that was that was kind of a long one, but that's very interesting, guys. I mean, that's that's really sad, though. Everybody escaped but her. That's crazy. She, there's no headstone. There's no headstone for her. It's just the sign. So if she's somewhere else on the property. I don't know. This says the grave of. Charlotte Wynn Pyle. So um, it's got to be right here. I just, huh. It's over here. Whole bunch of little graves. Yeah, this cemetery is, uh, the cemetery is nice. A lot of, a lot of old graves, a lot of historic graves. All of these are just really old, guys. All right, guys, we are going to get out of here. We were really happy that we stopped here to check this place out again. We were on our way back to Port Charlotte from Brooksville. We were filming at uh, Spring Hill Cemetery. Again, if you guys want to see that video, 
you can go on our channel and check it out. It was the last video that was uploaded right before this one. So I probably uploaded it a few days ago. So definitely go check that out. That video is, gonna, is a cool video. Um, but this place, again, I'm so glad we stopped, but I really don't feel the need to come back here, especially even at night. I don't, I don't, I don't feel that guys. So again, if anybody knows any information, um, any historic information, any cool stories, if you have ever been here and anything has ever happened to you while you were here, that's, um, paranormal or, you know, anything, please let us know because... We would definitely love to hear that. And John left again. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. But yeah, guys, we would definitely love to hear your stories and your experiences. And like I said, it's things like that that make us decide to want to come back to these kinds of places. Because like, if you want, if one of you message or comment and say, "You guys, I was there and this this thing happened to me," you guys got to go check it out. We probably will. So, again, guys, thank you so much for coming with us on this adventure today again it was kind of on a whim but we're glad that we came and we're glad that we were able to bring you along so don't forget to smash that like button guys if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon that's next to the subscribe button so that you are notified every time we upload a new video so thanks for coming with us guys take care have a good one